I imagine you have a single question in mind after watching, Fast and Furious 10 Inches. How did Giselle survive? What has happened to her all this time and why do we only now know she's alive and not dead? In reality, what could have happened in, Fast and Furious 6 Inches that now, after all these years, we find out that she was not dead but alive? What will be Han's reaction when he sees that the love of his life is not dead, but it was all a sham? Could it be that Han knew she was alive but could not say it to protect her? Could it be that all this time we thought Han was dead, he was actually with Giselle? There is a theory that could give us the answer we're looking for, suggesting that Mr. Nobody planned everything, and that during the time he was supposedly dead, he was actually working with Giselle for the agency. This means that many people think that Han knew she was alive but could not reveal it to protect her. But why did she come back? And why did we only catch a brief glimpse of her in the movie, even though it seems she will have a more prominent role in Fast and Furious 11 Inches? There are many questions arising from this incredible story, so let's try to show you what might have actually happened. In this video, we want to talk about, where has Giselle been all this time? To understand what is happening here, we first need to discuss who Giselle is and her importance in the Fast and Furious story. From her early appearances, Giselle reveals herself as a strong, intelligent, and skilled woman in the world of racing and crime. Initially, she works as a loyal member of the villain Braga's team, but quickly shows herself to be on the protagonist's side and joins Dominic Toretto and his crew. Giselle's importance lies in her role as Han's love interest, another beloved character in the franchise. Their relationship reveals a more vulnerable side to both characters and adds an emotional layer to the narrative. Furthermore, Giselle proves to be an indispensable ally to Toretto's team, especially regarding her driving skills and her competence in dangerous situations. Giselle's death in Fast and Furious 6 Inches had a profound impact on the story. Her sacrifice in an emotionally charged action scene resonated in the hearts of fans. She risks herself to save her love, Han, leaving him free to face impending danger. Her loss was devastating and left a void in Dominic Toretto's crew. Giselle's death reminded everyone that the life of a hero is not always free of sacrifice, and her legacy lives on as a testament to bravery and unconditional love in the world of Fast and Furious. But now, in the new movie, Fast and Furious 10, we see her appear out of nowhere aboard a nuclear submarine, arriving just in time to rescue Cypher and Letty. Remember, these two women faced off in a tough battle that almost ended with both of them dead. However, when Letty managed to break out of jail, she realized that she was in Antarctica, in the middle of nowhere, and couldn't survive outside. So, she decided to go back and give up. When she returned, she realized that Cypher had a plan already mapped out, and when they managed to get to the outside world, they were met with the surprise that left us all with our mouths open, Giselle is actually alive. But how is this possible if we witnessed her tragic death? How did she escape death at that moment etched in our memories when she sacrificed her life to protect Han? One interesting theory is that Mr. Nobody orchestrated everything from the start to be in control. Remember. This character is the most powerful in the entire story and has orchestrated many disappearances and strategies throughout the saga. Recall when Mr. Nobody offered Han a deal to fake his death and work for him, Han asked him why he was offering this. Mr. Nobody told him that Han worked well because he had seen him working with Giselle, and they were a good team. And since Giselle trusted him completely, he also had his full trust. Remember, Giselle was already dead, and it appears she could have spoken to Mr. Nobody to create the perfect plan, to be reunited with Han, after it seemed impossible. After Han accepted to work for Mr. Nobody, we saw him doing his job, where he came across this little girl who was alone and about to be found by the bad guys. We later learned that this girl was adopted by Han and was even trained by him. So, in part, the theory says that they might have been living as a family in hiding and carrying out operations for the agency. So this theory suggests that they both knew the truth and knew that Giselle was alive. 
Another of the super interesting theories is that Giselle was helped by Cypher, and she's now part of a perfect plan that puts her alongside Cypher in an alliance. Another theory suggests that Cypher isn't a villain, and that Mr. Nobody is the real villain, and she is manipulating everything and planning everything for the 11th film in the series to confront Mr. Nobody and reveal the truth once and for all. But this seems unlikely since the main actor playing Mr. Nobody announced his retirement from the movies and will not participate in any more films. The possible absence of Mr. Nobody in the next Fast and Furious movie presents a challenge for the continuation of the story. The retirement announcement from Kurt Russell, who portrays Mr. Nobody, creates uncertainty about his iconic character's participation. The absence of this character would leave a void in Dominic Toretto's team and could require a change in narrative dynamics. Fans hope for a creative solution to give the character a proper send-off and maintain the essence of the saga. The character's departure marks the end of an era in the franchise. What's left for us to think and wonder about is what the next movie will be like. Will the story allow Giselle's character to develop more? and will we see her with more interactions in the story? Remember, this woman's career is at its peak right now. Her first significant role came in 2009 when she portrayed Giselle Yashar in Fast and Furious, becoming one of the franchise's most beloved characters. From there, her career took off, and Gal Gadot was recognized for her talent and screen presence. However, the greatest acclaim came in 2017 when she played Wonder Woman in DC Comics' namesake movie. Her performance received critical praise and was applauded by the audience, becoming an iconic figure in superhero cinema. She subsequently reprised her role in Justice League and starred in the 2020 Wonder Woman sequel. Gal Gadot's success is largely due to her charisma, acting ability, and dedication to the roles she portrays. She has chosen interesting projects and demonstrated her versatility in different film genres. So, I highly doubt that she will only make brief and sporadic appearances in the next movie, given that we know the next film is the end of the entire saga, and we imagine many questions need to be answered. Tell me what you think of all this. Do you think Han knew the whole truth? How do you think Giselle survived all this time? Leave your opinion in the comments so we can read it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.